What's going on guys? This is Smokey from Not Your Pappy's Q. Sitting outside here Labor Day. Hope you guys are enjoying your Labor Day weekend. Today is Labor Day, so I hope you guys are having a good day. Sitting outside underneath these trees here, they give me plenty of shade with these crazy summer days here in Texas, South Central Texas. I am curing a new pit, or not a new pit, it's a new pit for me, it was given to me, but my dad has had this pit for a while. He used to cook it back uh, when I was younger. He used to cook some uh, poor man's brisket on it, man. Whew. Let's just say my dad kicked some ass on that pit. Uh, he used to cook some really, really good uh, chicken as well on this pit. So I um, pulled it out from the back part of the property behind my storage unit that I have here in the backyard. I um, Cleaned it up this morning, took out all the rust that I could take off with uh, soap and water. I sprayed some canola oil on it, got it going right now. I am running uh, a chimney of charcoal in it with a chunk of mesquite and a chunk of post oak uh, wood in it right now. Um, got it going, hopefully by the time it finishes burning I'll be able to cook a splash cut chicken on and I've been craving some chicken uh, this weekend so I'm gonna do that today so you guys stay tuned if you guys are watching this video you know I got the chicken going it's seasoned up really good so uh, you guys stay tuned all right I'll be right back so there's the uh, logo I told you guys about here there's the thermometer that it has so this here, twist is open to give you access to the firebox here. All right guys, pit is seasoned, ready to go. I like the way it turned out. Uh, I did that for about two hours or so, it looks good. Uh, chicken, it is spash cocked. It has my rub on it. It is ready to rock and roll. I'm just waiting for this pit to get up to the temperature. I think it's the temperature. I'm not sure what the temperature is on this thing because they don't have no dial. But anyways, uh, you guys stay tuned. I'm going to go ahead and put the chicken on here in a bit. All right, guys, there's my splash cut chicken. Uh, this side here is bigger than that side because I left the backbone on there. Uh, my dad likes the backbone, so I left it on there. So here it is seasoning. It is looking good. I'm gonna go ahead and close it up and uh, we'll check it back in about 30 minutes. All right, guys. About 120, 140 degrees. I'm gonna just spray it with some parquet. Chicken's still going, one half is done. Remember I had showed you one half was bigger than the other one. I took out the smaller one, it's sitting uh, here on the table, uh, resting. I'm getting ready to check the other one to see where it's at. Chicken looks really, really good. I'm sitting at about 163 uh, internal temp on the breast. I'm gonna go inside and make sure all my other sides are nice and warm. I'm going to come back here and pull it. It should be at the uh, safe temperature, 164. There it is. First cook on that pit. Done. Chicken came out tender, juicy. It was delicious. One thing I did not like of that chicken was that the skin was real rubbery. Uh, don't know what temperature I was cooking at. That pit does not have a temperature gauge as you guys saw. So I'm going to have to put a uh, temperature gauge on top of that lid to see exactly what I'm cooking at, what temperature I'm cooking at. And I'm also going to have to put on a uh, vent on top to help control the uh, temperature. But other than that, it was a good cook, good eating, um, nice and tender, juicy. I mean, what else can we say? It was good. So, until the next one, guys. God bless. And remember, if you're looking, you ain't cooking. All right.